Hey guys, if you're new here and you like what I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. So recently I re-watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie on Disney Plus, and revisiting this movie I had a lot of fun with it. It brought back a lot of nostalgia from my childhood, and I remembered a lot of the iconic moments that stood out in my head. And re-watching this movie, there was a villain on screen that always brought a smile to my face with how wacky and crazy they were, but they always brought a lot of energy to their scenes. And that was the character Ivan Ooze. Now if you don't remember Ivan Ooze and you're watching this video, you're crazy. I say Ivan Ooze is one of those iconic Power Rangers villains that is pretty much up there with Lord Zed and Rita, and it's one of those characters that everyone remembers due to nostalgia from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. And like I said, re-watching this movie, I freaking love Ivan Ooze. And I kind of wish we got to see more of him, but unfortunately we didn't. But Ivan Ooze is just an awesome villain. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how cool this villain is. So the history of this guy is kind of crazy. So apparently he once ruled the world and he was really freaking powerful. So Zordon and Dulcia and apparently the predecessors of the modern Power Rangers sealed him away in that giant egg that you saw at the start of the movie. So apparently this guy was really powerful around the time of 10,000 years ago or probably longer that Zordon had to lock him away. That's how powerful this guy was because he had his own foot soldiers and his own zords and he conquered the world. I kind of wish we got to see that in the form of flashbacks to show how powerful this guy is. I know there's that whole thing with storytelling by Tell Don't Show but hey I would have loved to see a cool Ivan Ooze flashback in this movie. That would have been freaking sweet. Now I'm not going to recap the entire Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. If you've seen it you know what Ivan Ooze is about and what happens to him at the end of the movie. Unfortunately he gets a kick in the nuts and launched into the sun so we never saw him ever again. It would have been cool if we saw him again but we haven't. But if there's one scene that always stands out for me when it comes to Ivan Ooze, it's when he's freed by Lord Zed, and this scene happens. When I was a kid, this scene scared the hell out of me. I don't know why, I guess it's because Ivan Ooze just starts screaming and the lightning comes out of his fingers. And he does that scream for a good like 5 to 10 seconds, probably longer, but it freaked me out as a kid. But watching this scene now as an adult, I gotta say, it's really corny, but I can understand why Ivan Ooze is pissed off. I mean, if a floating head in a tube trapped me in an egg for for thousands of years, I'd be pretty pissed off as well. And I'm not going to turn this into a video essay where I talk about Ivan Ooze being a deep and complex villain because he's pretty much your regular Power Rangers villain in the form of a movie with a higher budget. So Ivan Ooze, what I love about the character is probably his wit and charm and his funny one-liners that the character does or the actor delivers because they are something and they're so quotable when you rewatch the movie. I mean most of them I remember and probably most of them you guys can remember and that's what I love about Ivan Ooze. His witty one-liners. I mean sure he's probably really powerful with all the magic tricks and stuff like that he, up, he had up his sleeve but Ivan Ooze, what people remember him for is being a big purple dude with funny one-liners and I think this is why the character stands out so much to people. But there's one thing I need to talk about after Ivan Ooze unearths his Zords or his Ectomorphicons or whatever they're called. And that is telling all the adults of Angel Grove to jump off a cliff at the construction site. I mean, that is freaking brutal. Parents of Angel Grove, you have completed my Ectomorphicons. But frankly... I'm sick of your ugly faces and your dull personalities. Yeah. <laughs> you will return to the construction site and leap to your doom. Uses them for whatever he needs them for, then tells them to jump off a cliff. I mean, that is fucking dark, I will say that. I mean, telling the adults to, ju to jump off a cliff and die, I mean, frickin' hell, man. I know that I said that he's not a deep and complex villain, but the dude knows how to get rid of his resources once he's done with them. Like, holy shit. 
And I really hope that Ivan Ooze can return to the Power Rangers franchise in the form of some kind of media because there are rumours, there are rumblings that they can't use stuff from the movie because of Disney and stuff like that, blah blah blah, but it'd be cool if we can see Ivan Ooze in something like Battle for the Grid, Legacy Wars, a lightning collection of the character. Um, it'd be cool to see this character in some form of media again, wherever it be like a cameo or something animated or the comics because it's different universe and stuff like that. It'd be cool to see Ivan Ooze make an appearance once again in the Power Rangers franchise, whether, whether it be toys or like I said, it'd be cool to see this character return once again. But anyway guys, what are your thoughts on Ivan Ooze? Do you have a lot of nostalgia for this character? Do you not have a lot of nostalgia for this character? Would you like to see him again? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your opinion. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to turn on all notifications. Special thanks to the members such as Swagger4 and Andrew McCoyle. If you want to get your name shouted out like these guys over here, check out the Patreon or check out the YouTube membership and see what perks suits you. You can either have your name in the credits of every video shouted out like these guys over here. Check it out and see what you like because it really helps out the channel. But with that said, I'm bringing this video to a close. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care, bye.